So there are three ways you can do sauna that I can just toss out as like brief things. If you want to get a really big growth hormone release for sake of metabolism, fat loss, you're training really, really hard in jujitsu and you want to recover, you don't want to sauna too often because the study that identified this massive 16 fold increase in growth hormone, they had people do this. It's crazy. They got into, okay, temperatures are 80 to 100 degrees centigrade. So that's 176 degrees Fahrenheit to 212 degrees Fahrenheit for five to 30 minutes is the typical ranges that people work in in these research studies. For maximum growth hormone release, don't do sauna more than once a week, but get into the sauna for 30 minutes, as hot as you can safely tolerate, then get out for five to 10 minutes, no cold exposure, get back in the sauna for 30 minutes. Then they had them do it again, out for five minutes, back for 30 minutes, out for five minutes, back for three minutes. They had them do two hours of sauna exposure to get that growth hormone release. Now for the reduction in likelihood of dying of a cardiovascular event, stroke or otherwise, the more often you do sauna, the better. So if you look at all cause mortality or death due to cardiovascular events, and you look at sauna use frequency using the same parameters, 80 to 100 degrees centigrade, one to seven times per week. Basically, the more often you get into the sauna for 30 minutes across the week, so 30 minutes a day is better than four times a week. Four times a week is better than two times a week, and two times a week is better than one. And the reductions in mortality are really impressive. If you get into the sauna the way I just described, not the two hours a day, but 30 minutes twice a week or three times per week, you reduce the likelihood of dying of a cardiovascular event by 27%. If you do it four or more times per week, you reduce the probability of dying by 50% of a cardiovascular event. And in these studies, they rule out other things that people are doing. Smoking, they even ask them, do you live in an apartment? Are you in a happy relationship? They evaluate other potentially confounding variables. Now, for people that don't have access to a sauna, a hot water bath or hot tub is going to be your next best bet. And if you don't have access to that, do like the wrestlers do, which is, you know, put on two sets of uh, sweats and a hoodie and a stocking cap and wrap yourself in plastics underneath all that and go for a run. But please, nobody die of hyperthermia. I mean, you can die of warming up too much. With the sauna, it's how hot to make it. Well, don't kill yourself, obviously. Be smart. If you're pregnant, you shouldn't be doing this anyway. But it's very clear that what you need is the release of something called dynorphin. We have endorphin, which makes us feel good. It binds to these mu opioid receptors in the body. You have dynorphin, which is the terrible feeling that you get when you're in really hot temperatures. It's also the terrible effect that alcoholics feel when they are in withdrawal. You feel agitated. You want to get out. It's really unpleasant. It's dynorphin binding to the so-called kappa opioid receptor is that's what you're trying to trigger. When you do that, a number of things happen. You set off heat shock proteins that go repair broken proteins and misfolded proteins. It also makes it so that later endorphin binds its receptor more strongly. So when you have this uncomfortable experience in the heat, you literally feel better in real life when pleasurable events come on, uh, when they, you experience them. You want to be uncomfortable in the heat. And this is why I'm not a big fan of infrared saunas because they only go up to about 160, 170 degrees. It infrared light and far red light of all kinds has been shown to be beneficial for wound healing, acne, skin, eyes. There are even guys now putting on their testicles because it can increase testosterone and sperm production, hormone release. But in terms of the sauna, you want that strong heat stimulus.